Welcome to the channel. Today for Cocktails with Case and Lens, we're making an Italian Greyhound. She's so cute. She's really cute. Like, look at this bad boy. Literally the perfect little summer drink. Isn't, don't you want to drink this all summer long? Yeah, I was like, I can't not take a sip. I really feel like I couldn't take not take a sip. I agree with that. So freaking good. It's really good. A little sugar and rosemary rind. Beautiful. And for this, we really only need three ingredients. It's just the grapefruit, Aperol, and vodka. So I feel like it's super simple. Okay, so let's get to mixology -ing. It's 1.19 p.m. and we're drinking a cocktail on a Sunday. Woo. Nothing like curing your Sunday scaries with the drink. With a little vodka. Okay, wait, you start on the rim. So I'm just gonna like, put sugar and just put rosemary. sugar, and then you gotta chop up some of the rosemary really finely. And then I will juice some grapefruit. Juicy AF. I will say if you have like people coming over and you're gonna make these cocktails, which you should if people come over because they are showstoppers. They really are. But I would definitely say to grape to juice your grapefruit beforehand. Yeah. Because she's a little time consuming. It's it's like the only time consuming part of it. But the rest of it is really easy, so this really would be a really cute drink if you're hosting people. Mm-hmm. And the rosemary is basically just for garnish. Mm -hmm. We're not like adding it to the cocktail. But it really does, like, I feel like garnish is usually just for, like, aesthetic. But the rosemary actually does contribute to the taste of the drink because you, like, waft it when you're drinking it. And it mm -hmm. just makes it, like, that much more exciting. Fresh. Where did you find this recipe? Oh, I found this recipe on Bev's by Beverly. She has literally the cutest cocktail recipes. And everything feels very, like, fresh. And she'll also do, like, smoothie recipes. Oh, cute. I love this too because it kind of reminds me of when we did the the passion fruit margaritas and I feel like the rosemary like having some type of like sprinkle of something in your rim is so cute like we added lemon lemon zest to the salt rim or no lime zest Ooh, yeah. to the salt rim that was, and that was good. so good that really was good it takes it to the next level Wait, Lindsay, we haven't been recording. Casey. I really need to pull a, pull something on Casey. I was singing this the other day. No. Because for no. April Fools, she literally got me so bad. Wait, that was it, Lindsay. I didn't even end up pranking her because her the look on her face. I was I mortified. Couldn't finish, I couldn't finish like what I was gonna say. She was like, Lindsay, I have to tell you something. And I was like, I spent like five minutes sitting there, like, okay, wait. Mentally prepare me is it good bad is it this is it that and then I was like, okay, okay I'm, I'm ready. Just tell me and by that time. She was like, no, I'm just kidding So you just tell me three grapefruits two two just two. Okay, we have like this much I would say that this is probably enough for us to each have two cocktails if We want to be crazy. We want to really have fun today. Now we can just assemble Okay, this is what the recipe is the recipe is one and a half ounces vodka Half an ounce Asperol and then two ounces grapefruit. We don't have like a jigger to measure ounces, but we do have a tablespoon. There's like two of these in an ounce. So we're gonna start with the vodka, right? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do three of these. Do you think this is something that you could like, like if you were prepping this for a party, would you just have your juice? and then your vodka and then your Aperol and then mix it all together? We know, I literally think that you could like make the drink and then just wait to add your ice. Yeah. Right? Right. Like I would mix it all together. Oh, that one was a little bit heavy. Oh shit, that one was big too. <laughs> okay. Wait, this one's yeah. your <laughs> That one's Casey's. No. Okay. Oh wait, should we have rimmed it first? Oh, mother effer. Look at us. Okay, wait. There's a solution to this. Okay, yeah. Oh my god, wait, that was so dumb. No, no it's okay, yeah, it's okay. fine. Right? Soak the rim. Just soak the rim. And then we'll do the other one. <gasps> They're so, that's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, wait, now we just have to measure out half of this. All right, because we suck, we're gonna take three tablespoons out from that one. 
Oh wait, no, we have to dump all of it. We have to dump all of it. It's all gonna go. So we can measure the other one. <laughs> Here we are, like back in like eighth yeah. grade. We're like, um, eighth so grade, Casey? No, we did that earlier. I know we did it earlier. Okay. We did it in like third grade. We started learning. <gasps> she Ooh. is stunning. Literally so cute. One, two, three. Let's just do four because those were definitely not full tablespoons. Yeah. You still think so? Yeah. This is Okay, and then we have the Aperol. Sorry, that like shouldn't have taken us as long, but you know, we make mistakes. Uh, okay. Okay, wait. One tablespoon? One tablespoon. And this gives like such a pretty color. <gasps> Cute. Ooh. Cute. Wow, so pretty. And then we just have to do the grapefruit. How much grapefruit is it? Four tablespoons. So two ounces. Gorgeous. Okay. And now we can top it off with some ice mm -hmm. and then our garnish. Oh my god, they're so cute. They're literally coral. Like, they really are like coral. They're so cute. They are so cute. I picture this drink at a bridal shower. I don't know why. Like, I think this would be the cutest bridal shower. And then lastly, we just add like a little corner of grapefruit. Absolutely flawless. Stunning! Gorgeous. Wow. Should we do the official taste test? Official taste test. Cheers. <gasps> Rude. <laughs> Cheers. I'm sorry, I got really excited. Mmm. So good. It's really everything that you want in a cocktail for summer. This it's like refreshing, bright, citrusy, light. so light. It literally is, this is like truly my favorite drink, I think. 100%. And the rim really does something. Like if we're at a bar, can we just bring this? Like, are yeah. you gonna make this for me? Would they know how to make this? Would they? Like, can you ask for this at a bar? Wait, I feel like you could because it's like very simple. Every very bar simple. has vodka and Aperol and grapefruit. And grapefruit juice, yeah. Wait, yes. This full is 100% what I'm ordering all summer all. Afternoon. Should we add some club soda? See what it would taste like? I think we should. It doesn't call for club soda, nor do I think that it needs it. It doesn't need it. But I feel like to get that little like spritzy vibe. Summer bubbles kind of vibe. Let's see what it would be like. Also, this doesn't scream hangover. Like, this isn't sugary. No, I think that when it's we were fresh, light. When we were together, I think that we had like three of them each. And the next day, I was, I was buzzing. I felt healthier, honestly. Fresh grapefruit juice, like, it definitely doesn't need it. Like, it's not necessary. But if you if you like a little, <gasps> wait, it's good. No, I feel like you have to do the bubbles. Really? It's giving me like spritzy vibes. Yeah. This is giving me like brunch vibes with the spritz in it. I feel like if it's like dinner and cocktails, I would do no spritz, like no club. Yeah, although I feel like I would order this for brunch. I would order this for dinner. It goes down like water. It really does. Like I don't know how to describe it more than it's just like so light refreshing and delicious. And I really feel like you guys need to make this and report back. 100%. I'm not gonna lie, my toes are being a little bit tingly right now, so mm -hmm. maybe we should close out this so we can really get her down and yeah. not have anything go sideways. Yeah, this is, it does hit quick. I mean, quick. Also, we're drinking this at like 2 p.m. This is our lunch right now. I don't promote this. Yeah, we're not promoting this. Yeah, we do not recommend <laughs> liquids this. for lunch. We're not promoting liquids for lunch. Yeah. But this is fun. Yeah, we're gonna try, yeah, we're gonna have fun things. like making more cocktails during the summer. Let yeah. us know what we should mix up next yeah. for cocktails with Case and Lens. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe. We post new videos every Friday. We'll be here. The two of us. Mm -hmm. Getting Hopefully. a little tipsy. <laughs> Hopefully Sunday. not as. Anywho, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. See you guys. Bye. Cheers. Actually, it's heading a little bit. Whoop. Cute, fun, flirty, sexy, fabulous. hot, fabulous. Hot girl summer drink right here. It sounds like a dirty word. I feel like mixologists are low key, like they have that side to them and they're mm -hmm. like, let's call it a jigger. Yeah. Shout out to Lisa, our favorite bartender. 
Oh, cheers. Cheers. Sister. Cheers, please. Cheers. <laughs> Some more. Bye. <laughs> okay. Bye.